Hey, this is Hardball Retro. Welcome to Earl Weaver Baseball for the Amiga. We're going to let the intro theme play now. And we'll talk more. Okay, well that was an extremely long intro, but I wanted to let the music play just uh, kind of to show the difference between some of the earlier uh, computer baseball games and this one. You can kind of see right off the bat that the graphics and the music are much different than, uh, say, uh, Micro League or computer baseball and so forth. So this one was published in 1987, uh, Electronic Arts. It was programmed by Eddie Dombrower. Uh, Don Daglow was the executive producer. And obviously they relied heavily on uh, input from Earl Weaver himself uh, for a lot of the uh, strategic uh, information that goes into the game. So uh, in fact, there's even a button that you can ask Earl to help you with your lineup, your pitching, and during the game. So is that what? Uh, yes, you can let Earl manage would be the computer manager, but actually it's actually driven by some of the answers that Earl gave to uh, Eddie and Don as they were designing the game as far as, you know, when to bunt, when to steal, and so forth. So we're going to just do some selections here now. We're going to make sure. Uh, let's go here. Home team. It's going to be Brendan. By the way, Brendan is here with me. Uh, so we're going to face each other here. We, we're going to play in Wrigley, but I think let's do a DH game, yes? Yep. Regulation game, not arcade style. Non-league. We're not playing a league game. It's just an exhibition. We want to do one pitch, not full at bat. Sorry. Uh, you manage. That means that we, yeah. we manage for both. Um, and I'm going to be the visitor. I'm going to use the keypad. He'll use the mouse. So select team. So hopefully if I have this set up right, we go to drive one. These are the 1988 teams that came with the game. There was, uh, you could, you could buy team discs by year. So I'm going to be the California angels. And we're just going to pretend that we're, uh, playing an exhibition match here. So. This was before interleague play. We both realized that. All right, so up here you have American National League. So if I click on National, and we're going to pick Cubs. So you get a look at. Uh, I don't. I was going to say Chicago. Yes. Uh, Chicago. Chicago. That would have been. Uh, Sox. Uh, White Sox. Yep. Uh, that wasn't how they. Uh, it really depends on the game. Some of them have, you know, some might list Cubs, White Sox. It's really, every mm -hmm. game has it a little bit different. So you need something like Cal. <laughs> yes, Cal, yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, but let's do it after the game, is just look at, this one also has the ballpark construction, uh, but we'll save that for later if I remember it. 
Um, I'm going to do play ball for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we at the main? Now I am the. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm this guy, right? So I can manually go up here and pick people, right? Or I can go here. So I'll just show you the ask girl function. So if I drift over here, press enter on ask girl, he puts Mike Witt in. Now if I highlight Mike Witt, hit the space bar, there's his stats for 1988. Uh, Nothing great. But, Where did the info pad go? Um, I think they were 87, they were awful because 86 yeah. they finished first, yeah. 87 they finished last, and 88 they might have finished middle of the pack. I don't remember exactly. Um, but Oakland dominated that year. So. Or you. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if you look at my other options, Wit is probably the best of the. Uh, Mediocre bunch here. So I hit finished. Now Brendan gets to pick his Cubs you pitcher. Your... Yeah, you'll do lineup next. Uh, well, <coughs> You're, we're on the pick starting pitcher screen. I don't know. How. So you can drag him, on. drag him over to. I don't know. Why you're... I would agree. Oh, Sutcliffe was an awful well, yeah, lawyer. Yeah. Other than his record, wasn't too bad. But... Yeah. Obviously, Greg Maddox. Yeah. All right. So again. I may, yeah, I may do a different lineup, but I can do this. Ask girl, because he still filled the lineup out. All right, then he shuffles people around. All right, so this actually looks relatively close to what I would pick. Um, I don't think I would have Devon White hitting second, so I'm going to drag Downing up there. Ray, maybe do something like that. Uh, facing a righty, maybe that there. Yeah. You do um, have a lot of righties in your lineup. It I think fourth thing is pretty. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, <laughs> finished. All right. So same. If you wanna, I, yeah, I, I years one by one. But... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. So just as an in general. Yeah. Grace wouldn't be the leadoff hitter, probably Webster. And I'd probably oh, flip flop. Third. Yeah, Sandra third. Yeah. You got Rafael Palmero, the one of the few years he was in Chicago. Okay. All right. And then we get to the final screen just to review mm. our lineups. So you can put in people in the bullpen already? You could if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to click ready for me, mm -hmm. ready for you, and we'll be... Play ball. Pitching. Greg. Maddox. At bat. Ryan. Downing. Show you what it looks like so earl tells us hey silly you know At 
Matt Kelly Davis. At bat, Bob Goon. Pitching, <laughs> Mike Witt. At bat, Mitch Webster. Center fielder, Mitch Webster. Oh. 
Bad, bad, Molly, no inner. Right fielder, Kelly Davis. Yeah, the third baseman, Jack Howell. Devon Wyatt. The left fielder, Tony Armas. Stop, Dick Stofield. <laughs> At bat, Mark Grace. Ryan Sandberg. The right fielder, Andre Dawson. At bat, Ryan Downing. same deal drag and drop whoever mm -hmm. um you can if you want to look at them you got the little display stats thing over here but you can also hit space bar and get more more detail the um Sutcliffe and Moyer are definitely starters and I think the rest you could probably use out of the pen you're the only two on here uh, <laughs> uh who, who are you starting Sutcliffe Moyer looks like Chiraldi was a starter. And then these guys over here, they're all relievers, I would say. Okay, so yeah, you gotta. Yep, that says cold. He's a righty. Frank DePino. Right. And then you click on ready when you're done. And I click on ready. On top of you already? Yep. Um, just real quick while we're while we're paused for a minute, I just want to mention that this game obviously takes care uh, takes advantage of the speech synthesis that was part of the Amiga. So you don't get the speech in the um, IBM version or the Apple version. You just get a little uh, scrolling text across the screen that says now batting and now pitching whoever. Right. <clears throat> so what was really neat with this, if you were creating your own teams you can actually go in on each individual player and tell it how to pronounce the guy's name correctly. So you can kind of mess with the pronunciation, you know, like for, I don't have a name off the top of my head, for example, but if there's some name where it doesn't, you know, instead of like Manny Trio, it would probably try to pronounce it Trillo, right? Mm -hmm. But you could fix it. You could change the, uh, the, no, phonet the phonetic spelling. So uh, there's like a separate field. Mm -hmm for how it pronounces it so that was really neat um you might hear in this game when the umpire says safer out there's an echo uh you may or may not be able to notice that but i think that's due to the emulator 
Um, when I play this on my actual Amiga, it doesn't happen. So uh, basically, you might hear it here, but ignore it. In the real game, it doesn't do that. And might have had some other interesting nugget, but I'll try to remember what that was. I just want to show you that, okay, now now they're okay. Yeah. All right. But if you give them another batter or two, they're going to be warm. Okay. Then you can bring them in. You could bring them in as okay, but you're That's taking like, a chance. That's, like, definitely. That's yeah. like you didn't give them enough time to warm up. So see the little double arrow up there? Yep. So it's white is Dua, white arm is Boone Schofield. So a switch hitter and four, five righties okay, in a row. I'm going to put in a nipper. Right? Nipper's the righty. Yep. All right. Uh, since we're using the DH anyway, if we had the pitcher batting, you might want to wait, pinch mm -hmm. hit for your pitcher. Yeah. All right. Good. And then sub mm -hmm. him in. And DePino will sit down, right? Mm -hmm. Boom. Alrighty. At bat, Sean Dunstan. choices here. We got Clark, he's kind of a starter reliever. Harvey Minton, Stu Cliburn, Dwayne Bice. None of these are extremely appealing. I mean, they're your input, man. Yeah. Third time. But I got it. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to get him up for now. Here. <coughs> At bat, Mitch Webster. At 
Bad Mark Race. Second baseman, Ryan Sandberg. <laughs> oh, let's do this. Let's ask her all. <laughs> oh, I'm not getting Harvey bitten up. Uh, pay attention. Check your picture. Pay attention. To the, the new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors or the great indoors. Welcome to the peak of premium off-roading. The new 2023... Yeah, you almost you almost got me there. Right, I so. planted the flag. Here we go. Cliburn. Okay. A little bit slower when you're using the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, I like turn it on. There we go. All right, Cliburn is in. Uh, so what's neat? See on the bottom here, they have Maddox. Like he scratched out. You can't use them again. That's pretty cool. Now pitching, Stuart Clyburn. Okay, alright, six five, so it's still at least a ball game here. Now pitching, Al Nipper, at bat, Devon Wyatt. Left fielder, Tony Armas. <laughs> At bat, Bob Boone. <laughs> the right fielder, Andre Dawson. Left fielder, Rafael Palmiro. Out to left center at 16 miles an hour. At bat, Vance Law. A catcher, Damon. Very few. At bat, Jody Davis. Uh, I'm just gonna look at 
was. Yeah, so he was actually Clark was a starter the full full time there. Petrie's a full time. I think everyone that's like that Cleveland one is like having a talented time. Yep, it's looking like did Frazier do a little of both? I can't recall. Uh, he had two relief outings, and since it's an exhibition, we could yeah, I think he could move. We could bring at least put him up. We'll save Harvey and Mitten if we're actually still in the ball game here by the end. But yeah. Jody Davis, two runners on, one out. The shortstop, Sean Dunstan. Second baseman, Johnny Ray. Uh, I think that's just his rating. I don't think that's his rating. I think if you ask, if you do a down conference call, they say the picture is getting higher. The first baseman, Wally Joyner. Now pitch in, Willie Fraser. The first baseman, Mark Grace. Ryan Sandberg. At bat, Andre Dawson. You don't 
on all three on front of me, so I would do a double steal and turn those over to that. Let's just see if we can keep them close there. It's getting ugly quickly. That's off the beam out of each. Now pitch in, Frank, Dacino, and Matt, Kelly, Davis. Baseman, Jack, Powell. was just checking my bench to see if I had a righty to face the Pino there, but I wasn't sure what you were doing here either. Right on. Um, no, I'm going to leave Jack Howe. Devon Wyatt. The left fielder, Tony Armas. just because you took somebody out of the one slot, probably, so it was blank. Now pitch in, Pat, Terry. Hey. A shortstop, Dick Stofield. Pitching, Greg, Minton, at bat, Damon, Barry Hill. At bat, 
Jody Davis. So before you do that, though. Yeah. Um, wait, that's me. Well, then? here's what you want to check, though. All right. Yeah, right. For some reason, Earl put Barry Hill and Jody Davis in. The, those are your two catchers. Wait, what? Right? So your lineup. Oh, yeah. Yes, you have Barry Hill catching, mm -hmm. and Davis is DH. Mm -hmm. So you can move Davis to catcher, but then you're going to lose the DH, which is fine. Who cares, right? You're just doing an exhibition anyway. I'm just telling you, you don't have another catcher on your bench, basically. None of these guys qualify as a catcher. So you can pinch run whoever you want, mm -hmm. but then you got to put Davis at catcher at the end of the inning. Okay. That's all I'm uh, but yeah, you do have speed over there. So, Doug Desenzo, Lou Barry Hill. Yep. And then I have to. We'll do that later, though. Yeah. Ready. Here's Lancaster. Lancaster coming on. Defend that. Gotcha. Idea. Um, and I'm going to leave mine as is. Stop. Sean Dunstan. Catcher over to Davis. Well, All right, and then I have to do this. Sorry. you shouldn't be able to, but I wonder how it's going to handle it here. Um, no, hold on. We're not going to Try it. Let's see what happens. And then catcher to Davis. Let's see. It may yell at us. Ready. Now pitchin. Lester. Lancaster. At bat. Brian. Downing. <laughs> well, you did The second baseman. Johnny. Ray. The first baseman, Wally Joyner. Gossage would have been back in the day. I don't know. Let's hit space bar on him. Hold on. Three save. No, that's Bice. Sorry. You've got to click on him, I guess. Can you left click? No, hold on. Let me go down there. Can I do it? No. What did you do? Don't know. Can you do it again? Okay, it's not me. Okay, basically, I uh, don't recall. I don't think Gossage was oh. the closer. Oh, double click. There you go. Okay. 13, 13 saves. I, I think Lancaster had some. Just click again, probably. There you go. I can't get it. No. Oh, no. Yeah, you get. You. Uh, well, you had five. Well, I guess Gossage was the closer then. Well, maybe it was. Maybe it was Perry. No, Perry wasn't. He was uh, one of those. 
um, extra guys, I would say. He wasn't really a closer type. Well, he had like one for Kenny and Gossage. Yeah. yeah, I would say Gossage is your closer. It, it's a little too early for him, I would say. Right here, yeah, Kelly Davis. Yes. If there's a close play at first, it didn't happen, happen this time. Sometimes Earl uh, will run out and argue with the umpire. So I was hoping we would see that today. But since we're going to be able to do something like this, I don't want to run first two backs. Actually, Davis can tie it up. Matt, Mitch, Webster. The first baseman, Mark, Grace. The second baseman, Ryan, Sandberg. Now pitching, the rain, nice. Now pitching, Jeff, Tito, at bat, Jack, Howell. Center fielder, Devon Wyatt. Let's see who's available on the bench. I do. Michael Moore has a seven speed. He's definitely the best out of anybody here. He's going to pinch run. Devon Wade up. I've got a couple options off the bench if I need to pitch. Now pitching, Goose Gossage. At bat, Tony Armas. I would agree with you. And I don't have a lot of good pinch hitting options. I'm going to stick with Arnis here. Okay. He is batting 300. Mm. It's a tough call. However, you don't care. Don't care. Going to, well, actually, I don't know. George Hendrick was awful. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of his, uh, his 86, 1986 numbers. Oh man, this bench is terrible. Guess what? Bob Boone is batting. I'm a big liar. <laughs> 
Now fit in Jamie Moyer. Cubs eight, Angels six. So to go to the box score. I mean, there's our final score with the yep. uh, the line score. Maddox Max got the win. I'm gonna say he didn't, so that's mm. incorrect. I would agree. So you do get the uh, attendance over there, thirty four thirty four thousand eight hundred fifty nine. All right, let's click in the box score. Uh, so Chile scored three runs, two hits. Got a couple guys with two hits. Like we said, no homers. Devon White, three RBIs. Uh, and a stolen base. No. 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 Pitching. Pitching. Witt got drilled. Yeah, with the, the nail in the coffin. Yep. Batting or pitching? I only struck you out three times, yeah. and I walked you seven, so that didn't help. Right. I walked three times. Cubbies, uh, Grace, two hits. Barry Hill, two hits. I went one for five with Stanbury. Palmero, three ribbies. We got that double steal. Yes, you did. Or that count as an error? No, that was a double steal. Because I know you had no. That's true, but I think it was a double steal anyway. Pitching, Maddox got drilled. Yeah, so re realistically, Maddox should not have gotten the win. It probably would have been Nipper, I would say. Um, you've got the option. If the last play of the game was like a walk-off yeah. or something, you could click in and watch the instant replay or the slow-motion instant replay. We're going to skip that for now. <laughs> Finish without updating stats. Yes. So it does update them. It would update like so you could keep their accumulated uh -huh. stats and standings Got and it. whatnot. Uh, I wanted to go to commissioner. Yeah, I what you want to do again. I wanted to do the ballpark thing and maybe the player name thing while we're in here, real quick. All right, customize ballparks, right? So let's just look at Fenway. Right, so you can change the fence color, name of the park, the surface, the bleachers, indoors, outdoors, uh, the distances to the fence, the height of the fence. So, right. so you can, right? So let's just do we'll just do look at ballpark. There you go, it builds the ballpark, right? So uh, it's pretty close. It doesn't have like the the seats and the uh, green monster and stuff. So let's go to uh, Earl's Park. We'll just mess around with some numbers here. Uh, I think they just created a a park here just to show you stuff. So I don't know. Let's change the there. color. To um, color. I don't know blue. And blue. And let's make a wacky like I don't know. Uh, Super. Let's bring, let's see, center field. We got to click on there. And let's make it, I wonder what's the shortest distance it'll allow us here. Let's try that. Okay, it took that. Good. And let's say down the right field line is just some like strange. I don't know. Okay, yeah, it won't let us go too far. Let's make maybe that distance kind of go further. Oh, okay. All right, and then let's make the let's make a high right field wall. Maybe how high will it let us go? Right corner. Yeah, it's right there. So all right, that worked. So yeah. if we save it, and then we can do look at park. Wells Park. All right, it's got our weird I numbers. I think you can look at the ballpark without saving. Yeah, we could have. <laughs> all right. Modifying the game, right? Yeah. So basically, yeah. um, even though this game was created in 87, you could create a current ballpark.
in here. You can create an old time park, whatever you want, right? Cancel out of that, finished. All right, now let me just go into customize. Let's try customize teams. And doesn't matter who we pick. Let's just pick some random team, right? Let's pick Texas. Completely all players. No, that's not what I wanted. I want to go in and edit a player. Where is that at? That was the wrong thing. Oh, I know where it is. I'm in the wrong place. I think it's here. General manager. Here we go. All right, let's just pick Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Can I edit him? Yeah, here we go. Edit player. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I've got the little pencil guy, Vandenberg. All right, first name. I don't know. What's Shohei some... Otani. Shohei Otani, right? So he probably wouldn't know how to pronounce this. So Shohei Otani. Shahi. Shahi, right? So let's try if we did like show. Hey. Right, and then he should pronounce it again. Let's see. Show he. Show he. What if we do H A Y? Show he. There we go. All right, and then F five to save. Save changes. Return. Yes. Back to Killer Mark. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't hear him pronounce the last name. Uh, cancel return, okay. Return is okay. Here, Otani. Let's see. That's just edit, right? Yeah. Shohei. First female is that Shohei. Adonai. Adonai, okay. So, O. Odd. Magic O. Well, O H pronounced as ah uh, for some reason. So what if we try O? Let's see. O uh, I don't think it's gonna like the K. What if we just do N E E? Let's try that. O ta ni, right? O ta ni. Not bad. O ta ni. Let's see. O ta ni. Not awful, right? Yeah. I'm saying you could sit here and mess with this for, yeah. for hours and just to get it right. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that you can actually change the yeah. pronunciation, right? Yeah. Pretty neat. Save. Sure, why not? So now Shohei Otani is a left-hander on the Texas. Um, I, you can mess with all their stats. I don't want to go too deep into this now. I just wanted to show that it's possible to do it. So, so you, you can make Michael Hernandez. Right. Best of the best. I could. Uh, yeah. We're going to cancel. We don't want to make yeah. actual changes to Texas there. And now we're back here. So, um, what else? The commissioner. Uh, I don't want to go there. Okay, display stats. We'll just do this real quick and then we'll be done. All right. So, if you go into display stats, I'm not going to really click through this, but you can choose to either display or print out their real stats. Um, stats, if you do play and manage, that's like kind of like the arcade mode. Mm -hmm. Manage mode is just what we just did. Mm -hmm. uh, batting leaders by certain stats. Um, standings, you can look at a particular roster. You can look at everybody's team totals. You can say, oh, give me everybody with a minimum of this many innings, this many at-bats. You can do American or National League, so on and so forth. So it's pretty detailed what you can do in there. And that is Earl Weaver Baseball for the Amiga. And we're going to wrap it up here. So uh, this is Hardball Retro. And this is his son, Brendan. And you guys take care. We'll see you next time. Good Thanks. game. Thanks for joining. Yeah, good game.